He's trying to go by Robbie Gordon at and 31. He, and, he, and he's pushing. He pushed. He slid up the racetrack. He pushed into Robbie. And there we were just talking about it. You get one shot of saving these race cars. So, wow. Oh, man. West Wing all over again. Yeah, I'm telling you what, that was a shot. But that's what happened. He just lost a nose. And this is a racetrack, too, where you'll get arrow tight around other race cars. This is a full speed. Watch this. Oh, man, what we call a tank slapper. Got to race his way in on time. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Uh, Oh, no, that's not good. You're not going to cite that one. Oh, oh, that's a hard lick. That's a hard lick right there. Look out on pit road. Car got a little tied up off the corner and, and uh, kind of snapped loose on me a little bit. And I was going to, to lock it down. I realized there's people over here, you know, all this stuff lined up. So I just kind of corrected a little bit. Just kind of held the wheel straight to see if maybe I just get a straight shot and maybe make it back on the track. But... Very sudden, obviously, do you, uh, do you get to go through the grass and get straight back on the track? John Sauter tries to stay off of Sauter, and in, in the process of doing that, he spins the car around. Whoa, that was a great move there. Bobby Hamilton, Bobby Hamilton squeezes through wow. on the outside. Now, Fike's holding the car up here. He's not going to let it roll down the hill. He's going to lock the brakes up here. Now, remember, they, everybody's supposed to be slowing down right now. You're not gaining anything by racing. The field is frozen. Now, you're going to see this car start to roll, but I'm not so sure he didn't see Hermie coming and thought, oh, gee. Oh. That was a hard hit. I, I think he saw that car coming, and he said, he's not going to miss me. Yeah, I mean, he's all the, all the way up on the outside. I, I don't know. It's hard to say what a driver's thinking, but I think the 43, Fike thought he was going to saw him coming. He said, oh, gee, i got to get out. It's all right. Here's why we're under yellow. Cody ah. Coughlin through the grass and then bang. Man, that's a serious change of direction, isn't it? Hope Cody's okay. That was a hard hit. So fortunate. You see, Bubba Wallace was trying to get through the middle. He makes contact with Cody. Fortunately, Cody hits the safer barrier down there on the inside. Thank you to Michigan International Speedway for having that safer barrier there. How about riding along with Cody Coughlin? This is going to be a jarring ride. Yeah, just... Trying to move around and take advantage the best he could of that restart. He's already had hard impact. That was a hard yeah. lick. Yeah, yes. hard impact into that wall. And then this is just... Boy, it sure looks like it's still accelerating. Yeah, it does. It? Wow. The equipment we have now. We're watching this from high above, trying to figure out exactly what happened. And you can see Dario Franchini looks like he loses a tire getting into the corner and triggers this wreck. Now watch his car come around right down in front of traffic. Some cars who really had nowhere to go. There's the 91 coming along. And that is Larry Gunzelman. Hard impact in the left side. Again, looking down the back stretch. Yeah, right there you can see that tire completely exploding. And I, I would imagine that happened from some kind of a contact, uh, maybe into the left rear, knock the valve stem out, or maybe cut the sidewall of the tire. Oh, man, that's a hard, yeah, that's hard lick right there. See Marty Houston right there, the front right front. That's a, he actually had to go up high because, to avoid one of the IWX trucks. And when he did, he got up in a loose stuff there, lost control of that thing, and come down and came down and caught right in the right rear corner. Was that Quaffle that was? Oh, ooh, man, that was a hit. That's a hard lick. I couldn't tell if that was Travis or if that was Jack Sprague in the I other. I couldn't either, IWX but uh, man, I almost got him too. When they're coming down that straightaway, even though there was there was damage and there was parts flying, Brennan Gunn's truck probably hit at least at 100 miles an hour oh, by Brian Reffner. But I definitely think Casey Mears was trying to get to pit road in this 25 car. That's what the spotter indicated, Larry. Yeah. Let's see, he's and right uh, here. He is right, right in the up. front of the pack. But you know, Larry, yeah, I mean, he's he's up a little high. Uh, Man, that's a hard, a hard lick. Hit. But he was up a little bit too high there trying to get, you know, he should have been a little lower maybe. I don't know. Here's how it happened. The yellow car, Bobby Hamilton, just barely touches Brett Bodine, sends him out of control into the outside retaining wall, and then he hits hard on the inside retaining wall and then slams back out towards the racetrack. There we see him coming off the wall. It looked at one stage that he might stay stuck to that wall. The rear of the car touched, then the front, but it was not to be bounced off. 
then slides across this asphalt, losing speed, but still, as you say, hit that wall very, very hard. Luckily for him, that wall's about 100 feet further back from the track than it used to be. Rudd is behind Tony Stewart on the outside. Yeah, they're right. They're right here. Here's the 48 car right here. But the 96, Tony Raines, looks like he got up into Jimmy Johnson, the 48, initially off turn two, I believe, Daryl. I believe you're right, Larry. I, I, I saw the 48 move. Gosh, that's a hard lick by those two cars. Good but thing the safer, safer barrier, barrier is there again. Let's look from the rear bumper of Kevin Harvick's Penzoil Chevy. Oh, man, look at Nemechek's car go airborne. Here they Here's come. A look they're, they're, they're all the way up on the straightaway, and you can see. Oh, they both they, they were dropping low. Oh. Well, I'm going to tell you, as I watched that one car my, go my, across my. that grass, that is a mirror of 11 months ago with Steve parking that car in that same area, hit almost the same place. With that opening right there, though, that's a hard hit. Let's show you what happened one year ago, just what Larry's talking about. Yeah, this was at the beginning of the race last year. Watch how much the guardrail moves now without that dirt behind it. See Rusty Wallace and the one car get together, and then here comes Dale Jr. pushing Park, and the car goes absolutely berserk and turns over and flies apart. Well, he's getting a nice push from him. Uh oh, oh trouble. trouble! Harvick's around! Oh, got spun on the back stretch by the 43. How many is it going to collect? Hold the break. Oh, what a vicious crash! Eric McClure! Okay. That's Kenny Wallace, the 25 car, in the middle between these two cars, 38 and 42. Oh, hard. That's a hard lick right there. Saw the whole car come off the ground. Back wheels. No contact from behind by the 25 car, and the 38 just abruptly spins right across the racetrack in front of Juan Pablo Montoya. Okay, let's watch and listen. Still outside. Still there. Still there. 